I'm gonna do it straight away because we have to introduce it with our voices first. You always ruin it. Yeah, because it doesn't go five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it does it. Because we used to say something first. We did, and then yeah, we do it. yeah. And that's why it always fucks up. One anyway. day, one day we'll have it. Well, the, my only concern is the YouTube viewers sit on a white screen and then there's silence and there's us being like, um, what do we do? Bang. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I've got such a stupid question to start it off, but it's just, who are you? <laughs> Keelan, Keelan, I, Keelan I don't know if you're aware, there's a girl here. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? I'm Lisa. Mm-hmm. You're Lisa. Lisa who? Lisa who? Lisa Schneider. Schneider. Lisa yeah. Schneider, could you just make sure that you're speaking like this? I know yeah, you don't sorry. want to. I know you don't like the sound of your voice. Mm-hmm. But uh, Well, no, no, no. You can look at us, but just like try and get the mic. Sorry, I'm I'm a, I'm a, a bit weird about this. Yeah, but you're a pro podcaster. Yes. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. At the start, I'm always like just annoying people by being like, sorry, you're not doing a yeah. good job. Like, yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. everyone gets a bit shocked of how it sounds because they get first time they get to hear their voice straight back into their ears. Yeah. Everyone's always a bit like, oh, no. So yeah, it doesn't really feel Very like bad. a normal conversation. But yeah, I mean, we've tried we've we've tried to get you here for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm chasing but. you as you drive around the UK on <laughs> uh-huh. numerous night buses and things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've been to the, you've been here for a while now, right? Yeah, I think I just got here. I got here a week before Project Underground. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, and then I've just been around the UK really, bopping around. Yeah. Were you here before as well? Yeah, was I was this, here yeah. twice. I think I got here first time, well, first time since I started doing parkour in September, and then I came back in November. And wow. Now I'm back, yeah. And then back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. sick. How come back so much? Spots, people? And Everything. Yeah, spots, yeah. people. Yeah. It's I'm just really good. It. It's just sick. Um, this is a weird question, yeah. but it's just popped into my head, and it's only because we asked Sam this same question. How tall are you? I can't tell you in feet, but I'm um, 176. Because it, I, I, are you taller than me? I mean, I'm small, so that you don't like. Th- that's fine. How tall are you? Well, I'm five eight. I don't know what that is. It's only because we've I think been I'm together. Taller than you. Yeah, we've been together all day, and I haven't really noticed it. But now sitting here, I don't know if it's just because I'm sitting with bad posture. But oh, yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel like you're taller than me. I think. Mm. Um, Not that that's yeah. Just mm-hmm. it's an uh, observation. I can't really tell from sitting down because it's like everyone's proportions. I feel off. really like, small. I've got yeah. the smallest torso. So right now, if we were sitting next to like George, he'd be taller than me. Yeah, so I'm literally like that, and then my legs really, really. I just long. maybe I'm tired. I just feel like I'm looking up. I'm like, <laughs> ugh. Mm-hmm. Um, to, for, for for context, not that anyone actually needs to care, but it is not. It's almost eight p.m. Mm-hmm. We've been training all day, um, in Maidstone of all places, and it was cold and windy and blustery and sunny at the same time. Mm-hmm. So we're all a little bit frazzled, I think. Yeah, yeah. coffee has been coffee. passed <laughs> around. Yeah. So coffee, yeah. perfect. Um, yeah, I want to dive into because we. We haven't spoken much, really. Mm. Um, I know nothing this. about you. Well, but that's the, that's <laughs> Which the best, is great, that's yeah. That's the best nice. thing, because I was saying earlier, I was like, I want it to be genuine and I want to like find out about things now rather than yeah, being yeah, like, yeah. oh, really? And like, yeah. <laughs> um, but when did it all start? The classic question. Like how did I you? get into it? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the obvious. Um, yeah. I, I I was doing trampolining and then um, I was, uh, I was, um, trying to get into competitions and stuff and I was because there's not a lot of people doing it in Austria so it was like somewhat good um and I was really passionate about that and then I got injured like I, I broke my jaw and Whoa. I couldn't yeah um I couldn't do trampolining for ages and then two weeks after I did that we had some um training camp with Greg Rowe he's just like I don't know if you know of him he's he, doing a lot of g-tramping stuff now Greg yeah Rowe. but where Greg did Rowe, yeah where did he come where was he before that like what was he doing because that name is a pro- professional trampolinist. I don't know. I don't know why that name really rings a bell. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But um, before, I just want to know about the jaw thing. Yeah. <laughs> was it trampoline? What happened? Yeah, was, yeah, it, yeah. was it a rebound of the knee? Yeah, it was. It was. was it? it was, yeah. yeah. Your own, I assume but your own knee. broke yeah. your jaw. Because I've, I've done it before, and it's usually scary because your tongue. And like that. Nah, nah, nah. It was like proper, it pushed my jaw back so much that it like just broke the bone and really far back. What were you? What did you do? Like a flip, and you landed crunched. Um, I did a flip, and I thought I would land on the side of the tramp, but yeah. I landed on the tramp, so I just didn't tense my abs whatsoever, Fuck. and I just like, bounced out into. Yeah, but because of that, um, 
did the Wester's training camp with um, Greg, Greg Rowe and um, I went to it anyway because I was just curious about it and it turned out to be at a parkour gym. Like so the, the first day, yeah, so I couldn't do any trampolining because there's so much pressure on your jaw when you're on a trampoline. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. I just hung out with the people there and then just got into parkour through that because I couldn't do trampolining for like half a year and then by the time I could do it again, I was doing parkour. Wow, weird twist of fate. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's sick that you broke your jaw then. <laughs> that sounds really to no, say. No, no, it but is. But it's so, like, look yeah. where couldn't eat solid gone. food for six months. <laughs> yeah, because you act, was eating fine, was it? No. Yeah. No, just, nothing was fine. Everything through a nothing, straw. Nothing, nothing like, was yeah, fine. Nothing was fine. Wow. Like, like, How old were you? Like when was this? Um, twenty sixteen, I think. Uh, okay. So when I was yeah, when I was seventeen. Yeah. Wait. So how old are you? Was that one of the questions? Twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Um, wow. Just to clarify, so you are from Austria. Yes. Yeah, but then there is this other part of your life that I did not know about until. Is it New Zealand or not? New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. 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 So yeah, let's let's just run. So, so that was in, that was in Austria. That yeah. was in Austria. That was in Austria. Yeah, that was, that was before in Austria. I finished school. Mm -hmm. So it was my last year of school. So that after that, event, what was it? A workshop? Did you say for trampolining? But there was a parkour jam happening there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we had a, like the Sunday was a full day workshop and then the day before Greg Rowe gave a workshop at the parkour gym. Oh, and we okay. went to that anyway and then I just like, sick, yeah, did more of this stuff, yeah. And then from then on, was it like, how did you, was there classes that you could go back to or did you just start doing it on your, on nah, your own? No, I did classes. Mm -hmm. So it was like once a week because I did, couldn't do any more really because it's just still really painful so I think it was every sa Saturday and I remember just not training over the whole summer because I couldn't do any sports whatsoever because everything hurt mm. and then just had parkour classes every Saturday and I couldn't walk for the whole week and then <laughs> like recovered by <laughs> yeah, Friday yeah. and then Saturday training again it was just wow it was really good fun though but where um, yeah. where in Austria is this it's called Linz Lin okay so it's not it's not like you were in Vienna with um eight Ape, Ape Academy? Yeah. 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 Is that yeah, where yeah, Alex yeah. is from? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's a different, like different community area. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sick. Yeah. Um, what, what's the community there like? Because I only can really know about. I've only ever been to Vienna. Vienna so yeah. I don't think of anywhere else. But it's obviously loads of different places. But. Yeah. Um, so I, I started training with this team and they're basically, they're mainly focused on coaching. So they don't, they used to train more, but I think now they don't really train that much. Yeah. Um, there is a small community of a couple of younger guys and they, they train regularly now. But then, uh, like back then, I was basically only going to those classes. I didn't realise that parkour really existed outside of that. Oh, really? Because it yeah. wasn't taught like that. Yeah. It was kind of yeah. just, you go into the park or you go into the gym, but you wouldn't really go train outside. So that was like completely unknown for me until I started travelling. Um, mm -hmm. So I didn't... And then, like, I left Austria pretty fast, so I don't actually know that much about the community in Austria. Oh, Just, like, as interesting. As I got back this, like, last September, no, nah, before that, I was in Austria last year for, like, five months or something, mm -hmm. and that's when I actually started tra training with the Austrian community properly. Wow, like, so, so your experience in Austria was predominantly coaching, and then you left the country, and then you discovered that parkour was like, oh, people do it <laughs> casually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, so... Yeah, so strange. You left Australia and went to New Zealand? Yeah. Or, yeah. Why, why? Like, what's the... Um, so, after I finished school, I kind of just wanted to get out of Austria. To the furthest place away. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, actually, I wanted to go to Australia, but Aust Austria's only got a couple of uh, countries that have working holiday visas, like, agreements with. Oh, uh, okay. And New Zealand is one of those countries. And I tried to get a visa for there, but I actually couldn't get it. But then you can only stay in either one of those places, so Australia and New Zealand for three months. Yeah. But I wanted to stay for longer. So I went to Australia for two and a half months and then New Zealand for one and a half months and then back to Australia for half a month. And then I got home to Austria and I just wanted to leave again. Wow. And then, yeah, I tried to apply for that working holiday visa again and got it that year. And then oh, went wow. to New Zealand for half a year and worked there and just met all of my friends there and loved it. Yeah. And I tried to stay back then, but couldn't, and then just went back again, and then stayed there again. So is that, do you feel That's like you crazy. found a, a, a sort of somewhat home in New Zealand then? Oh, for sure, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. So were you there for like the sort of the pandemic and everything, and then you came back to Austria, when was that, what, five months ago you said? Last September. Ah, last September, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you know anyone going out there at all, or not? No, I didn't know anyone, no. 
Oh, it's always so crazy because I've spoken to a few people now who do this. Who've just like they're just like yeah. Boom. I just went to like this country really far away. I didn't know anyone, and then met all my friends there. Mm. So that's. I feel like that's. Well, I mean, personally, I'd find that quite scary. Oh, for also sure. kind of fun at the same oh, time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. That so sick. So what's the? I mean, I've had like a couple of interactions with like people from the New Zealand community, but it does feel very separate. Mm. Like I'm not like I can't off the top of my head name like New Zealand teams or athletes. Yeah. Or even videos to be honest. Yeah. I can't think of like like I know we've had scene like in general like we've mm. had film festival submissions like Luke went out there a couple of years ago. Mm. So like I've had communication with some people and I know there's a scene, but I'm not like is it is it good big? <laughs> um, least, you said a little bit to me at Project Underground, but I can't remember all of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good and very small. Yeah. Um, but because there's not a lot of people, they're just all very, very close. And they're all incredible people. And I think because they're so separate from everywhere else, they've got like a very unique style and very unique way of training. So That's it's, sick. It's, yeah, yeah I'm, cool. I'm so glad that I was there for so long because I think it really just influenced my training a lot. Yeah. And yeah, they're all amazing athletes as well. Like some of them are incredibly good but it feels a bit as if no one cares that much about them because they're so far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. It's like, it's tough, isn't it? Because I guess like, I don't know, when you're in Europe or England or whatever, when you've got international people coming in and influencing, mm -hmm. you pick up stuff from them, both movement and, and also just like, it, it. and then you'll see a video of like, oh, Matt McKeary went to that went spot. To that, and like, yeah. you can see how he, influence that spot and then the people who train with him and things but when you're that far away it's like you don't get matt mccurry going to new zealand and like those mm -hmm. guys don't often come over here so it's like yeah that's weird i mean uh, yeah i mean i feel like people don't do that with uh, there is obviously a scene in australia mm. but i not many people it's go just, over there it's just expensive mm. as fuck uh -huh. <laughs> like for us to get over there it's really uh -huh. but it'd be lot. cool for some yeah for i don't know maybe after people hearing this podcast can be like ah New Zealand. I'll go and check out New Zealand. New Zealand. I mean, yeah. it's New Zealand anyway, and surely it's I know. fucking sick. I'd like, love, like, I had, so I had so many friends who finished school, they like hit 18 and they're like, cool, I'm going on a gap year. And then they spend most of the year in Australia, like spend so, it just feels like they go for so long in Australia and then they tack on like a couple of weeks in New Zealand at the yeah. end. And then they'd all come back and I'd like be in the pub with them and I'd chat to them and every single one would be like, I wish I spent more of your time in New Zealand. They were like, Australia was cool, but like we got over it. But then New Zealand was like, fuck, there's like the diversity of the nature and, and everything. Incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's the other thing. Like a lot of people, if they go to New Zealand, they don't necessarily go there for training. Yeah. Like they go there because the nature is incredible. And you've already, like, you've Lord of the Rings so tours far. and yeah, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So, you know. Because mm -hmm. in Europe, you just like, I don't know, you take a two hour plane and then you're happy with just training. You yeah. just go mm -hmm. into the sports and whatever. But if you go to New Zealand, it's like you want to see the whole country. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to just train. Mm -hmm. And you'd have to take a long time if you want to get both in as well. Yeah. Because it's just so fun. Yeah, if I was spending the money to go to New Zealand, I'm not even like a massive Lord of the Rings nerd, but I would be far more excited to be like, see. I'm in the Shire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Frodo? What's the spots like? Spot saying this is the deal breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that's, that's why. Yeah, that's <laughs> why no one goes. <laughs> no, um, it, they're very different because it's such a modern country. Yeah, they don't have like old brick walls and stuff. Um, Auckland, where I was mainly living, it's got some good spots, but it doesn't. It's not incredible. But then Wellington is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. Wellington's Sick. such a cool city because it's so there's so many hills, so there's oh, so okay. many like level yeah, spots. Yeah. And it's got an insane amount of water challenges as well. It's just oh, hilarious. Stora. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's all they need to do. And yeah. then it'll blow it up for them. Um, what, what do you prefer, like New Zealand spots and architecture or kind of European, UK, wherever else? I feel like I'm separating UK and Europe now, but yeah, I think yeah. the government did that, didn't they? <laughs> yes. It's now I feel like I have to make a point of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, right now, European spots, but that could be because I was just in New Zealand for so long and got yeah. probably a little bit sick of it because it's just that it's, it takes so much time to get to any other place. So that's mm -hmm. like all the spots you can train at. And they're all quite similar. Oh, okay. Um, not Wellington, but Auckland, they're all like somewhat similar. And a lot of, like there's not that many um, like high walls. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I prefer, I prefer European spots, but the time I was there, I'm so glad that it was. Sounds like a good place to learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. That's sick. 
I feel like that definitely influences it in certain ways. Cause like in Germany, all of them train very like weirdly, like in a good way. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I think that's because of the spots as well. Cause some of the spots don't really look like spots, but if you're with the right people, like I'm sure if people went to New Zealand and then met up with the community, yeah. then it's just like new eyes at new spots, even if they're not like crazy things would be fucking sick. Yeah. Be really, really cool. Oh, no, I do so, Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, neat one. I've oh, finished it. <laughs> we finished, finished it. it. Oh, yeah, nearly, yeah. nearly. <coughs> um, what was I going to say? I, I don't know. It was the backstory thing. Whether where are we at? New Zealand. The backstory. Australia, New Zealand, Australia, New Zealand. Mainly, mainly New Just Zealand. Just constantly <laughs> playing back New and New Zealand, forward. Yeah. Yeah. New Zealand. So when yeah. did you start um, coming to Europe and things like that? Traveling in general. Um, traveling in general. <laughs> Would you, traveling you already were traveling you know what i mean like coming traveling through europe but like specifically for parkour yeah it feels like recently you've been on like a i am a mission yeah, yeah. just just like tra parkour traveling go yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. i was in new zealand for so long i was just wanting to go to europe for quite a while yeah and now i can do it and i'm just enjoying it so much um, i was in i was in europe from last i think um was it February till June or something? But it was a lot of the borders were still closed. Yeah. So I did a tiny bit of traveling then, but not really. Mm. And then since I got back in September, I've just been like, just flitting yeah. around. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, and it's been really good. What are your like plans? I mean, just sort of short term plans. Are you, you're obviously in the UK right now, but I mean, how long are you around here? And then are you going back to New Zealand or are you like to the moon? Yeah, I'm. I'm not going back to New Zealand for a while. Ah, okay. So I've I've actually moved back to Europe. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how long I'll be in the UK for. Probably a couple more weeks. Um, I'm not very good at planning. Um, it's. I think just, like I had unless a feeling you, you were gonna say I don't really know where I'm going next, but that, yeah, that's that, sick though. But it's like if you don't really have cool. anything holding you, then that's and if and if you, that's fine, then that's great. Yeah. Because eventually, like sort of you don't have those opportunities like i right now couldn't be that free yeah, yeah, yeah world kind of thing so it's like you may if you're in that position right now just fucking live it like mm -hmm. yeah it's sick yeah the thing it, for me is i i study online yeah so i i finished that in september i'm a bit scared of what will happen after that but until september i'm kind of like i'm a student yeah so that's the, the one thing that's like consistent mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter where i am i can, can just yeah, do it you anywhere can do it. what are you studying Nutritional science. Oh, nice. That's yeah. sick. That is very cool. Is that mostly with, well, it's food and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nutritional. <laughs> food, yes. We're about to cook something as well. So yeah, yeah, you're yeah, going to be yeah. judging what we're going to cook with and things. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so where, where does that like, what, what can you do with that sort of career? A, a lot of things, but yeah. I don't really want to do anything with it. Oh, okay. Right it's now. just like a, but it's, I guess it's one, it's a, it's a functional, useful piece of knowledge to have yeah. I guess mm. yeah yeah I was really interested in it when I started studying it and it just kind of slowly uni's good down. at that I find yeah, a lot of really people are like is, yeah. that sounds cool and by three years later they're like I hate this really so yeah. it's more of a start thing yeah that's but, cool. um is it's it such a long time to be interested in one thing yeah at, at, at mm. the point in your life when part of you wants to be like open to everything and then it's, it's the same with school isn't it like mm. yeah school kind of gives you all these options and they're like now choose one and do it for three years and that will be yeah. your job and you're like oh fuck <laughs> like it's tough it's super fucking tough mm -hmm. was it eye-opening that kind of subject is it like oh that's like those those that food's really bad for you is it no it no made me not care oh really <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care about it because like the part of the reason why i'm not really that interested anymore is because I, I feel like everyone should feel what's good for them, you know? Yeah, yeah, It doesn't yeah, yeah. really matter mm -hmm. what exactly is in it. Like, you'll feel what's good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so That makes sense. It's yeah. part of the reason why you don't want to do anything with it now because parkour as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, would you, if you can, like, is that where you feel like you're heading to try and make that your thing? Like, you can live off of it, whatever yeah. that means. Whatever that How means. That, yeah, 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 yeah. No one knows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now, so I'm just if I can keep that up somehow, it, I don't really care how I can make, like how I make money, as long as I can keep doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. even have to be through parkour. It just has to be like- Enough to, to keep by. it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it would be nice if it was something with parkour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's that is the best, the best way to, to go, I think, is just for as long as possible. 
yeah yeah just just do what you can and be like cool i'm happy mm -hmm. so how do you afford that as well um, I'm, that's ex nah, I'm really lucky because uh, in Austria you get paid to study. Student oh. loan, baby. <laughs> that's yeah. so good. But wait, yeah, is that so a student you can loan or is that? And because now you just get paid from that's so the, good. the government. And because you can month. study not there. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah. study on the move and get that's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So wait, you, it's amazing. Yeah. You get paid, but like, do you also get student loans that you have to pay back, or no. you just get? No, 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 no. Mate, fuck. Fuck off. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, our country's pretty good for education, to be fair. But the fact that you in other countries you can get paid. That's it's awesome. It's incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm so lucky. Yeah. And I didn't realise. Do, but do a lot of people just travel? Cause no, I, no, no, no. A lot of people stay in uni. Why? I don't know. <laughs> friends. They have that, yeah. I guess if you don't have parkour, you've got friendship bubble in a building. Yeah. So it's like. I suppose so. It's very strange. I think out of all the people I went to school with, I'm the only one who's not in Austria at the moment. I mean, like you could just be person. sitting on a beach and chilling. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's not very well known that you can just study online. Oh, and okay. if you don't, so like, if I didn't have parkour, it'd be quite lame to study online because I didn't have that. Like, I wouldn't have that uni life, you know. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And How? Um. Yeah, I guess parkour fills the void of like partying and travel and yeah, for sure. all that. Like that's the one downside of it that I never, I probably won't have that uni life. I never had it, but then yeah. I've been to Red Bull after parties, and I'm like, well, <laughs> parkour parties for what? Like when you, when you've yeah. been to an I old school so. air whip after party, you're like, well, mm -hmm. uni can't actually beat that. <laughs> like yeah. it can't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, parkour how, people are great. How often are you studying then? Like when? What's your routine of? Are you on night bus? Because you said to Travis, like you're getting. The other day you were on like an 8 p.m. till 2 p. no 2 a.m. bus or something like you really? just squeezing in. Yeah. Where was bits. that to? 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, I don't. Um, That's a long bus. I don't actually. Oh, that was the that was the, the, that was the hours of the one Travis was looking at. But oh. Lisa was just oh, saying just she's, she's done oh, yeah, she's fun. done so many like bus journeys recently around Europe. Oh wow. Uh, around studying. England. Yeah. On that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, my uni is quite easy. <laughs> you haven't done anything, have you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it part time. And yeah. It's like, it's my last seven months, basically. So I just actually the time when you should just, be working the hardest. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I've basically finished everything apart from my bachelor's thesis. Ah, okay. So I can kind of chill while I'm still in the UK, and then when I get home, I need to actually figure out. Yeah, yeah. What I'll do, but do you get like a cool? letter on the end of your name when you finish is that a thing I'm probably well, you can cool get letter. like you can get like uh keelan ryan md or whatever why md uh, what's md blogger you probably know medical all the doctor. oh okay that's medical doctor apparently <laughs> oh <laughs> but you can some some degrees uh, especially around the only reason i ask is like nutrition is kind of science doctory etc some oh, of yeah. them some of them you get like i think sarah technically has something because it's education i don't know really you can you can have Sick. these like it's yeah. Bachelor of Science. Yeah, so I'd be go. a Bachelor of Science. I yeah. Think. yeah. That's wicked. Is there anything else that you obviously you you were interested in trampolining for a bit and then parkour? Yeah. But is there anything other on the side that you do when you can't train? Scuba diving. Scuba Ooh, diving. Yeah. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love scuba diving. Is yes. that did you pick that up in New Zealand? Uh in Thailand. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, I was I was actually I was in the Philippines for half a year and just did my dive master because and then it was kind of either parkour or scuba diving and then it was kind of like I'll do parkour until I can't do it anymore and then I'll just. But surely diving. with scuba, oh, like sick. you can do it obviously recreationally, but then what would you just coach it? Yeah, so the, a dive master, what I have is basically an underwater guide. Oh, uh, okay. So that's like. You make you can make a little bit of money, but it's basically just so you can go diving all the time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can't teach yet, but the next thing I could do is an instructor. So uh, okay. I could actually teach. Yeah, I mean parkour's better because at least you get like, you know, well, not the scuba dive is not fun, but like <laughs> I feel like scuba diving's more like a a career, whereas parkour's got no, 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 it's not. No. But if you were to coach it, like surely you couldn't just bomb around for the next ten years scuba diving. No, you could. Really? Well, but parkour, you, you could earn money. Yeah. If, you, if you're if you an instructor, you can earn money. And mo like most diving instructors, they do it because they love diving so much. True. But you're, like, you're not going to get an Instagram post that gets millions of views scuba diving. That's what it's all about. Just that the is, views. Yeah. Sure. I'm not saying that's what it's all about, <laughs> but like that can obviously elevate. We'll go on to that, but yeah, that can obviously yeah. elevate a position in parkour, but like, and that mm -hmm. could potentially lead to further career opportunities. Uh -huh. But I've scuba surely scuba. is more like... You'd have to supplement your scubaing with 
a job that's more yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. probably mm. unless you do something like photography like underwater photography yeah, yeah. or that's i don't mad. know you, you've never scuba dived have you no i find it really weird it's incredible i find it I like some people are say this they feel really free yeah but i felt really like all the mask and like the thing i just i didn't i felt the opposite really? i felt like i was wearing like i like you know diving in and swimming deep holding your breath but, and things is there anything to do with you being a hypochondriac? Maybe like nah, I don't worrying think so. about like, <sighs> am I breathing? No, it just I just felt like there was a lot of gear to be thinking about, mm-hmm. and you're checking yeah. your gauges. And I'd things. be scared to overthink all of that. I touched. Maybe, um, I don't know. Oh, I can't what it's called. There's like this seaweed that's like almost it's almost like the equivalent of a stinging nettle. It was in like Honduras, so I don't know what it was, yeah, but what, they were like. Stung you? Yeah, it just it's basically like stinging nettle, but underwater, <laughs> and it sucks because it's everywhere, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> and you oh, just have wow. this like stingy hand. That's but, sick. Um, how many times have you done it? I did my paddy. Yeah. Um, the open what's water. paddy? It's but just a diving It's like the certificate. Oh. The certification yeah. thing. Yeah, I did that. And then I did like a solid week of going out, I think one or two dives a day. Oh yeah. Nice. So like I did a I did a chunk and I just never yeah. felt like I was like, whoa. Yeah. But no, that's sick that you like it. I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it, so it's shit. <laughs> Nah, the more you dive, for me, like the more yeah, I was diving, yeah. the more free I felt as well. And you can get rid of some of the gear as well. Do you yeah. know how you've got like lots of weight at the yeah, start? Yeah, yeah. You can get rid of that and then you've got this vest and you can get rid of that if you're perfectly weighted. Sick. And then it just gets more and more fun, yeah. really, the more you do it. But Yeah, I feel like once you're not thinking about the gear that you have at all. Yeah. Because that's yeah. what I, that's yeah. I'll be worried about. Like, what, what's this doing? What's that doing? But if it's just. Yeah. It was just, it felt it. like a lot. Uh-huh. Whereas you just want to like, it's almost like jumping out of a plane. It's like, well, I, I don't want the, you know, the person strapped on my back with a parachute. You don't want the instructor going yeah. with you. You just want to jump be out confident enough without just... the parachute and then somebody passes you the parachute and you uh-huh. do one of those. So, yeah. so that's your plan. You, you're going to do parkour as much as you can. Until you're crippled. Until you're fucked. And yeah. then you're yeah, there's like, no impact in so water. Good, yeah. 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 That's so good. Because my, my biggest worry at the moment is like parkour is so good and you put loads of effort into it. But then once you can't do it, it's like you can stay yeah. within the community, but also it's like what fills that like. Yeah. 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 I'm so yeah. glad You're I got sorted, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, you have, yeah, you haven't tried it yet. You can no. get try it. Yeah. I could hate it. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, always I, been the thing as well that if I ever get injured, I'm just gonna go dive. Go dive. Wow. Yeah. So you can just be reckless within parkour. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't care if yeah. I get injured unless you break your jaw again, because then I imagine the the jobby's a bit hard mm. to. Yeah. Also, broken bones are not good for diving. Yeah. True. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Is the pressure weird? Because you have to do the thing. Yeah. 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 Like there's loads of pressure when you. Yeah. They're not the fuck your ears up. I'm spitting everywhere. No. It's. I've I mean, had it before. I've gone underwater really deep. And then something's happened and I come up and I just have savage earache. Well, that's why you have to, because you go down, when you come back up, you have to go slowly and Uh, hit the bends and everything. Okay, I understand. Um, Completely irrelevant question, but due to the similarity of you saying you might try scuba diving, do you two use the same hair dye? I know, this is really funny. Maybe. I I don't know. I I think yours is slightly darker. Is it? It was only a last night night before. It's my mum's hair dye. And she always does it and she was just doing it and I was like, I want some of that. <laughs> Give me that. But it's not my, I think it's actually my head. Yeah. Like the, my actual head's died I mean, because it's so short. So so it's not really, yeah. Is it henna? I don't know. Okay, fair. I don't really dye my hair. Just let people do things. Yeah. yeah. Just do let things other people shave head. it. And yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Nice. Um, oh, Travis mentioned the Juice Boys. Yeah, yeah I was going to New yeah, Zealand yeah, yeah. team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Shout out Juice Boys. Yeah. Are they still amazing. a thing? Yeah, Juicy yeah, yeah, Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juice Boys. That's sick. Yeah, they're doing um, what is it called? Ah, they're just doing. I think every month they're making a video, of just like training compilations. Oh, it's sick. really good. It's really good vibes. Street, street sushi. No. I actually got something. Remember. Yeah, yeah. But something. if we type, if you typed in Juice Boys on YouTube, yeah, 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 and then it'll come up. Ooh, I think it might nice. be Wellington Street Sessions, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But it's really, really good. They're like really good at just vibes of sessions as well and just making good edits and it's very enjoyable to watch. It's a bit longer as well. Like it's not your three minute just bang, bang, bang video. It's yeah, like yeah. 20 minutes and you get like a good, that's what I love about it as well. You get a good idea of how training is there and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah. That's sick. To, and consistent as well, like every down. month. They haven't like been that consistent lately, but that might be because it's summer. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're working. I've got. I've got no yeah. idea. I've it's so no cool idea. though because I just feel like not many people are consistent-ish on YouTube. So yeah. it's nice. I feel like I'll have lots of stuff to binge now because I haven't seen anything yeah, from yeah, them yeah, yet. Yeah. So that'll be good. But did you used to train with right, them? I found them. 
Ziggy, yeah. Ziggy. Ziggy I Cody and Ziggy. Jared. And Juice underscore so. boys with an S. B O I S. Ziggy. Ziggy Kaitai, I think. Kaitai. So what does Ziggy look like? He's incredible. I feel like yeah. Ziggy has long hair, but he probably doesn't. He's he got floppy like hair. He's longer hair. I've just followed him back. <laughs> so nice and I've just followed yeah, the Juice Boys yeah. mm-hmm. they're all really good sick like um, but they lived in a different so they lived in well they, they used to live in Dunedin which is on the very bottom of the South Island and then they moved to Wellington so it's still like eight hours from Auckland from Wellington. yeah this is what I was going to say actually is I'm so naive as to how big New Zealand is it's I huge. was going to say that like I mean huge huge is it mostly nature though is that why it's so big or is there a lot there's actually a lot of cities and things a lot of nature, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a couple of big cities, but a lot of nature. It's just very long. Yeah, mm. I'm Googling it. So I've got no idea. I just How know that the North Island is bigger than Austria, but Austria is tiny, so <laughs> I don't Compared really know. I wish we could very easily just be like, yes, motors trip to New Zealand, but it's just fair. That's very one of the very things, like, with very occasionally people are like, when you come into Australia, it's like, it's money. I mean, I would, yeah, 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 like, yeah. that's the thing. Like, because the flight time oh. is fine. New Zealand is around the same size as the United Kingdom. Mm. Is it? Apparently, yeah. The thing is, though, it's so long. Yeah, yeah. So from, like, top to bottom. It's It's like, yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, Slightly different. Well, not really. But I was saying earlier when we were training, because we didn't go to any spots where I kind of wanted to go to a spot where you do kind of more of your thing with, like, rails and stuff. Because I feel like, I mean, that's one of the things that blew up on Instagram, I think. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So yeah Travis, it, Travis. Travis Travis was at it, Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of angry at the fact really? he was, Yeah, because he was like, It's not a real, no hashtag. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a lot He was in the car. So he was in the car. Funny. He was like he was like, She got like four million views on a square. On a post. <laughs> he was like a post, not a real, a, a, a post. It's so funny. I think it blew up in like India and Iran and Brazil. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It wasn't even like Europe or anything. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was so funny. It was like two months after I posted it as well. You just so yeah, 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 so weird. Yeah, um, so but strange. I haven't even. I don't think I've done this kind of movement that much. It's just um, mm. probably more memorable. I don't know. I'd say so because I hadn't seen anyone. I'd yeah, seen like yeah. rail flows and things, but it was. I'm pretty unless you've got two crazy viral videos, but the that was the one with the backwards thing going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I remember seeing that. I, don't think I'd seen anything from you before that. And mm. it just looked like quite a chill clip until that bit was a bit like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Cause yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, you're yeah. basically going into the scorpion position and then going under the bar. Yeah. You see, do you know the one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like, at own the spot. Own the spot, it? yeah. Yeah, it was such quite a good fun event. Was, there were a couple of people who were just doing stuff on that set up mm. and it was, yeah, it was a good session and it, that just happened. That's sick. I th- yeah, I was a bit surprised that it blew up that much to be honest. I'm, I'm glad that that blew up like because usually it would be things that are they have a lot of thought behind them like oh i feel like this type of thing will blow up or whatever yeah, yeah, Ow. yeah. i've got really <laughs> sensitive elbows <laughs> tried not to make sensitive that hurt. elbows yeah like that's good that something like that blew up i think for parkour yeah, yeah, in yeah. general because it's fucking sick what i liked you. seeing you at um nova city is you've got a lot of like creative confidence with like unconventional bar stuff because it's quite yeah. easy to go onto bars and do like you know sort of forward backwards lasso based movements you know the, the standard kind of lasso stuff mm. but like the runs you were putting together there was always something where i was like oh like that mm-hmm. which is sick so i like that where where do you think your style sort of with i guess with regards to those things came in was that new zealand or sort of europe i think it was a lot new zealand yeah mm. but then well, i realized recently i think it's because I am like quite lazy movement wise. So a lot of the time when I try and like when something's hard for me, I'll try and find an easier way around it. Yeah. And then quite often it comes up like, it's like creative or whatever. <laughs> but it's really just laziness. Yeah, like, yeah. Very often. Wow, that's sick. Yeah. Maybe people need to try being more lazy then. Yeah. I guess it's like the, the kind of like, if you're like a, a correct back full or whatever, it's obviously straight over and then people just chuck it to the side. Yeah, yeah. Chuck yeah. It to yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah exactly. Which I, yeah, I guess I can understand the like, rail flow and things because it kind of looks like your body's like falling into it yeah which is good as well because it's not like so like rigid yeah it just means that you relax your body and then because there's i know there was another the only two clips i've seen when you done stuff like that you did another line with that moving yeah yeah yeah. 
the shot was like maybe phone on the ground or something. Yeah. Yeah, which was a, a more insane line, I think, like with going in and out and backing yeah, up and things. It. Mm. Very slow competition, I think. Was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, that one. yeah. I remember that being announced. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, I think what I do as well is I try and um, not, I try and like see where the momentum takes my body basically and then yeah. keep moving with that. And I think that's how some stuff just happens as well. Like I just try and see if I do a move, I won't like think of the next move to do. I'll try and see like feel how it. my body falls yeah. basically and like how the momentum continues and then move with that. Well, it's yeah. like you were saying when we were we we were out uh, a few weeks ago now in Brighton and the star were there and bloggy we were training with bloggy and on this like weird almost like a wall of rails wasn't it mm. and we were calling it squirm core because we were like squirming through. we were just fucking around and like diving through holes and like swinging under and over and things yeah. and josh the, was insane yeah that. josh was really good mm. bloggy was really good it's like the people who sort of did it best were doing exactly that because i'd get in there and i'd be thinking okay i've gone through this way and I want to come out that way. But then yeah. you like lock up and you're like, oh fuck, it's gone wrong. Whereas the people who seem to do it best just relax and go, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. just sick. Mm. It's really sick. It's interesting you said about just kind of seeing where it takes you because was it Sophia at Project Underground? She was mm -hmm. saying with your lines and she said, maybe you were talking about like when things make sense. Yeah. You know, like yeah. when movement, yeah, because yeah. sometimes you can, even when we were trying that challenge earlier today, mm. and it's like trying to figure out something out of it that makes sense rather than just like, like forcing I want to do this. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 then it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel right. And then it also, yeah, just the momentum doesn't really work. I feel like that is how some of the best flowy lines work is because mm. the person behind it, whether it's in comp or just like in whatever, like cause sometimes you'll see a competition line and you'll get somebody and they're like, I want to, do this and then I want to do that and mm -hmm. it's like that doesn't go with that like mm -hmm. you've landed here facing that way you want to do that yes but it it's you're going to have to do some awkward shit and the people who do it best go I've landed here my momentum's taking me that way so I'm going Let's see what way. happens yeah, yeah. and you're it's a just, professional line builder you like doing that at competitions <laughs> you're always like I don't know I just, I've just been to enough where I think I can help people sometimes yeah. Like I know I've done a lot with Max and it's been really fun because he'll be like, I want to put this move in. It's like, cool, that's going to put you yeah. in that direction. And you like, know his ability as And well. it's like, yeah, this is your repertoire. Like you should probably lean towards that. Mm -hmm. But because yeah. yeah, so many people, I think when they're f like just training and then they want to put a line together for Instagram, they think, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. what do I want to do rather than what is this? Because you do it really well as well. Like, And I think you also have that like natural ability to kind of just chuck weird creative shit in. Mm. Like your, I mean, earlier, like on those stairs, your body just kind of like takes you. Yeah, I kept nearly rolling my ankle though. But the, the the thing, I don't know if you do this, but it's like finding the challenge first and then seeing where that yeah. takes yeah. you. Yeah. Because yeah. I've tried like, I've tried putting runs together. Like when you come to a swing, like, oh, I'd really like to do a line. And it's so much harder because you're just so focusing much. on like this whole thing. Whereas if you're just messing around, like the role, it's going to just sound really weird because I have no idea what we're talking yeah. about. But the role that we were doing <laughs> yeah, and like yeah. figure, trying to figure out just that bit, then you get like the element of the challenge within the line. Yeah. So otherwise some lines just feel like lines. It's not like training, how training usually happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, do you feel like you just do challenges and then see where it takes you or focus on other things? Um, that's really, that's really hard. hard. Sometimes, yeah, but uh, sometimes I just, like quite often I just find something that I find really fun and then I'll try and make something out of it. Like it can be a challenge, it can just be a move, but I hardly ever go out with the intention of doing in like this move. I want yeah, to do. yeah. Hardly ever because I don't know, I find it a bit, it, it like, it, do, it doesn't allow you to do, like it just like limits you a bit, Yeah. Mm. I think. But that's like just a complete different aspect of training that I probably don't understand. I think that's almost more of this and this and I think that's more of a video mindset mm. because I think that mindset is applicable in some scenarios where like somebody's learned, I don't know, double side mm -hmm. and they've learned it in the gym and they've done a couple outside and they're like, I want to go out and I want to find one to as a showcase. But mm -hmm. if you spend all your training being like, like, oh, we're going to maid zone today. I want to do one of these. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's actually not as fun. It's restrictive. Because it, it, I, I hate putting expectations on training. Yeah. I've realized that. I was Sometimes I have bad sessions. I'm like, why did that happen? It's because beforehand I've expected something from it. Whether it's not yeah. like a certain move. Yeah. It could just be like expecting the session to be 
incredible, even though they are incredible, you know, when you have yeah. just- And I don't do it with a move, but I do it with locations. Cause yeah. I'll go places and I'll be like, oh, I want to do that. And then I'll get there and I either can't do it or it's scared, like, or I can do it, but do it badly or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. but you set that expectation based on the thing, which I guess actually for you traveling a lot, heading to like, I guess sort of when you've been to going to new places and you're seeing some of these things that you've seen in videos, have there been certain things where you've been like, shit, I want to have a go at that? Or are you more just like, I want to go and enjoy the spot and see what I can play with? Um, I think only recently I started like looking at challenges being like, oh, I, I want to see if I can try this. Yeah. Um, but I don't go to places with the thought of doing something. So I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't travel to a place thinking that, oh, I want to do this pre or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I get to a sport and then I'm like, oh, that's the sport like that has been done here and then I'm like oh maybe I can do this but it's not really a I want to go there to do this specifically. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's good so, I think because mm -hmm. yeah as you were saying the less pressure you can put on the session yeah it's definitely yeah. the best and it, yeah especially if you're traveling as well you sometimes don't have the time to like I don't know bright is it Brighton after this so it's like you yeah. Don't, yeah so it's like you don't have the time to be like want to do that there it's just see what happens which is really nice yeah it's more um, like yeah. a curiosity of how big the challenges actually are. Yeah. Like that's definitely a thing. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, I want to do this. It's more, I want to see how big this actually is. Yeah. Cause yeah, I heard you were talking so to fun. Travis about like the suicide wall run. Oh yeah. yeah, and yeah. Have you, so you've been to Brighton before or not? No, no. no. So oh, well, I have been to Brighton, but not, I haven't seen yeah. the suicide wall. Run. Cause that's always something that people want to look at. And then I guess when you're there, it's like a, oh, I could do that or I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. It's um, fun, par just park or tourism in yeah. general. Yeah. Just Such seeing stuff. Yeah, even if it's not something that you'd really ever even want to do, but just seeing where things have happened is always just- Oh, really I love fun. it, yeah. It's so fun, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because it's history, isn't it? Like you're like, oh shit. Because like, mm -hmm. you can get in the headspace of the person, not in it, but you're like, whoa. Yeah, like, exactly. That, yeah, which I is like sick. Um, Travis said that you are really good at finding something that you like don't know or you're struggling with and you commit to like learning it and and working through it did he say that yeah he mm. said he, he, he was your parkour mindset is really good yeah talk to lisa about it <laughs> <laughs> really yeah oh because i'd say that i'm not that good at that oh wow well, mm. that wasn't well, um, external compliments so yeah i suppose with like parkour challenges yes with flips i just suck at learning like i find it so frustrating yeah like, drilling flips i find really frustrating but maybe with parkour mm-hmm I don't know. I take take I the compliment. It. Take yeah, it. I yeah. You, yeah. Own it. I, I understand yeah. that with with drilling flips is annoying. If you feel like you, there's some that's flips where it's I, like, I think that's why I've keep never this really flip, got you have to them. drill it, and it's like starts becoming a task. Yeah, or a job. It's so mad. But learning a new anything is nice. I think for the first time, the first time yeah, you get yeah, it, and yeah. you're like, ah, yes. Yeah. But then it's very easy to take that and just go, don't want to do that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, <totally laughs> so, me. that's the feeling I was after. I'm done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find it fun to figure stuff out, but I think mainly because I've, I've uh, I was stuck in a hotel in New Zealand for two weeks in like self isolation, and I tried to learn a lot of flips because I didn't have anything else to do, and I started video analyzing a lot. Uh, so okay. I find that quite interesting to like film myself and then try and figure out how I have to move differently to get it. Is this just on the hotel like, bed? Yes, like, I know this. Just snap yes. in the bed in half, yeah. Like. No, no, no. I put the mattress on the floor. Ah, okay, yeah. You have a highlight of it. I've yeah. seen it. <laughs> yeah, because it's really long. Yeah, <laughs> but, it's, but it's just mad because I didn't know what it what it was. I thought you were just like deciding to do that. Oh fuck! But then yeah. it's an isolation thing. Yeah, it was managed it, isolation, so you're stuck in a hotel. Your neighbours like next door is just like palm flips. Like, dum, dum. Yeah, I talked <laughs> like, to them though, and they're like, "Oh, this kind of." nice to hear oh, that really? someone's doing something because oh, everyone's wow. so bored yeah you know? we're stuck in there for two weeks and you're just two weeks yeah yeah what what actually do people bring you food yeah yeah you get a little yeah they free. like knock on for free like the whole thing's like the whole three thing. thousand euros yeah it's fucked for two weeks this is why jordan didn't come to england for yeah. so long because if he went to norway but he went back he'd, he'd come to england he'd have to like back when he had to buy slate, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But then when he went to Norway, he, he would have had to do that. He'd have to, and he had to pay for a hotel and things. So yeah, he, I remember him not, explaining that. Yeah, it's not worth it. And then they just bring you food. What do they like slide under the door like a prison? Mm, they knock <laughs> on your door and then there's like a, a bag. A robot. Wow. Mm, that's that's incredible. We, yeah. But I saw, yeah, there was one, just the thing that I remember was one of them, one of the rooms you had looked like there was four beds or something. Yeah, there were three beds. I was so lucky. Oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. For just you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Park or spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I was really lucky. But Did I they think... change your sheets? Like No. 
So you've got. Well, I had three bids. So yeah, so that's fine. Fine. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's fine. You managed yeah. to sleep in all of them. <laughs> well, uh, one of them just kind of became the flipping yeah. thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 One course. becomes the wardrobe, everything laid out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But uh, I think that actually changed my training quite a lot. Yeah, that's but, sick. Yeah. Forced. Yeah, I wonder what that would do if you were just like, I don't know, locked in that area with like the descent wall and thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would be a great place to be locked in. Yeah. But like, if you were just locked in with a rail, like One in a room rail. with a rail and a mm-hmm. meal and a bed and things like that for like, I don't know, two weeks. And it's you like- You should do that as a little, oh, it might be just oh. really frustrating actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'm telling people to do that, especially when isolation exists. You just come out like a fucking ninja <laughs> on a rail. Like, but you, yeah. say, you were saying you, that gave you, um, like before, would you analyze your clips? that much or was it just that that really started you started looking at it more a little bit but not as much like i'd I'd analyze it a bit but that made me just really like look at like just lots of different things and like more i don't know better i don't know just hurt i'm just missing words in english right now (laughs) but yeah to like actually properly analyze it that definitely started that and i find it really interesting it is did you have any scaries like landing on your neck on the mattress and you're like oh my god i'm oh. paralyzed no one can yeah yeah <laughs> like, they come with your food and you're just on the floor oh, a body god. was found after two weeks of isolation like no um not proper scaries i was trying to teach myself palm flips and i would never done them before so that was absolutely terrible yeah that would wow. be it took me two hours to commit to the first one i had such sore abs the next day as well it was really wow. bad yeah that is a scary one to just do by yourself. Yeah. To just try and figure it's terrifying. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was it's quite funny because I put up on my story, um, I, I'm trying to learn this, any tips, and then quite a few people messaged me and it was actually, it was kind of cool because I could like talk to them and be you like, You could have oh, live streamed it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. That would have been well Should've, good. Yeah. But that must have been good for you to understand. It's like, oh, I've, I'm here on my own and I've just managed to like get through, yeah. like, yeah, progress and also just do something scary. And it's like, well, I can do that. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Like it made that that whole progress of two hours. I would have never done that anywhere else. Yeah, and it because it sucks training on your own when it's like a mental barrier like that. Yeah, because yeah. it's so easy to be like, nah. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you push through is sick. Because yeah. I, I don't think I could do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and the analyzing movement thing. Um, yeah, I enjoy that. It's funny when you realize you can by watching back your clips, you can start to. Well, it's as simple as kind of like, oh, I don't like that. Like yeah. you could land something and it feels right, but yeah. you can like, you have the extra time to then just look back at it and go, hmm, I could actually just manipulate how I look doing this. Yeah. And then you can get something nicer, yeah, which yeah, I feel yeah. like is interesting. Cause it, yeah, if we couldn't film. I mm. think a lot of people's styles would actually be a bit different. Oh, because 100%. you can't choose, yeah. you don't have the choice, yeah. but it's sick. It's just another element of training to be like, I get to decide exactly how I want my movement to look. Mm. Yeah, imagine, imagine parkour as a whole with no cameras you yeah. know what you could do if you were influenced by anyone else you could see them out on the street but then if you were training on your own you'd like try and remember how they did things yeah and how would you because i think video really does make a difference yeah. like because some feel i've done things where they feel nice and then afterwards i look back at it on video and i'm like well there's loads i could have changed there yeah for me to be happy with how it looks um but i suppose you just gotta have a healthy balance of that yeah for sure yeah for yeah. sure Mm-hmm. Yeah, but generally for me, so if something feels nice, it wouldn't it generally looks good. Yeah, because like, mm-hmm. then I'd be like, "Oh, that felt really nice." So I don't actually care well, that's too what much you want, what it looks the like. Feeling. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely feeling first, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's when so. it's usually good as well. Because yeah. like when it feels good, that probably means that you like carried your momentum through really well, and you did it with like the least amount of effort, and that's kind. Of, yeah, that's I so find true. that really cool. Do you predominant like I feel today you were mainly focusing on like kind of short lines do you prefer to work on like lines rather than like a single challenge or do you just take it as it comes like take it as it comes yeah yeah yeah. i've been enjoying lately i've just been enjoying like some sort of bigger challenges yeah because i i I realized that i can actually do them Mm, (laughs) sick and i've just been enjoying actually running at stuff yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's a really scary thing to figure out though yeah 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 i hate like it if you ha- yeah, yeah we used to talk about that like having to run at a kong rather than like a jog or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah suddenly you're like there's so much con- control that you need to maintain yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's running at kongs and running at uh like running jumps because you can stand on the edge of something and be like i f- feel like i can get there and mm. then you run, go back and you're like i don't know now because i'm really yeah. far away and then you run 
And then in my case, I overshoot it about a billion yeah. times because I'm like, oh, it was, yeah, it's mm -hmm. that mental game. Yeah, so those... running is so different to that standing. Oh, yeah, because like. yeah, it probably comes down to some like running techniques as well. It's not just like sure. muscle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there was, there was a challenge you did. Um, I don't know where it was, but just because you were saying about like doing bigger, like just challenges on their own. Might be like a standing pre from a roof to a wall. Oh yeah, like recently, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Was yeah, that? Yeah. Do you feel like that was a similar sort of thing, like breaking that down, or was that? Which, what do you as, mean? as just like another like focusing on like a challenge. Oh, I guess you didn't run into it. It's not like a running pre, but like it's not like a line. But, but it was, did, was it? That, yeah. Yeah, but was yeah. it like? Was that a mental barrier that you had to go through, or was that quite an easy kind of just? Oh no, okay, I feel that, and then you go. It was quite funny because I did this like running rail pre before, and for some reason that running rail pre took me so long to break. And then I, um, I just saw that jump. I was like, oh, I'll have a look at that. And then it's this, that one, right? I'm just. No, nah, I don't think it's that one. Not that one. No, nah, not that. Oh no, one. I didn't. Oh, but that's it. No, 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 it's the, the standing one before that. Oh, the standing one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I remember that one because I think you posted that one. Oh, that's sick. Mm -hmm. That one I think came out just after Nova, right? Yeah, the other one as well. Yeah, Those okay. I just remember seeing that one because I was you in the um, uh, project on, in the in the comp. Yeah. In the skill challenge, I remember you stuck the down pre. I to, did not stick that. Did you not stick no, the down pre? I did not stick. Fuck! I thought you stuck <laughs> the down pre. No, I did that really badly. So the thing. <laughs> Yeah, the the one in the like semi. So the was so the a, weird with a horrible. I did not seek that. No, no. Oh, okay. I'm I'm completely incorrect. But I just remember finding that. I remember finding that stick really scary, and then you seeing stick that and being like, seeing stick that, seeing you stick that and being like that's sick. Mm -hmm. But uh, sorry, I just it derailed that conversation. Yeah, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think well, on that on that jump was because I was breaking that rail pre. I was in that. Uh, and I did that rail pretty fine. I was like, oh, I can actually trust myself. And then I went up to that roof and I, because you can prep it, prep it really nice to the side of it. Mm. And I just did it to the side of it. I think the first time I did it, it wasn't, it was kind of a joke. Like it wasn't, I was, I was just like, oh, I'll jump to the side of it and see how far I can get. It wasn't yeah. real. I wasn't thinking about actually doing the jump. Oh, and really? I, you thought maybe it just wasn't a thing for you? Uh, yeah, I didn't, because I, I hardly ever do like max praise yeah uh, standing praise and then i jumped to the side of it i was like oh that's kind of fine and then i did it again just as a joke basically because the first time i did it horribly i nearly <laughs> fell up <laughs> it was really bad and then i did it again and i nearly got to the wall and i was like oh i might actually have a look at it and then like prepped it i think two more times to the side of it and i was annoyed like i was more scared of the drop afterwards because the grass was kind of slippery mm, but yeah. you can see as well i slip out on the jump afterwards That'd be um, so annoying if you got the jump really nice, jumped off, and then just body. The way you injure yourself <laughs> is the wet grass. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But then that, inter like that took me, I think, like five minutes or something. That's quick. That's, for me, that's quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I take a long time to break challenges, so that was quite surprising. Sick, mm, yeah, especially when it's roof. With it. Sick, especially when yeah. it's like roof to wall. It's such a classic. Like, I don't know. That feels very good when you get through that. Mm. Yeah. Just yeah, to yeah. then jump off. Anything that's like maxi, like kind of up that way, like big. Max distance and high up. And it's high up and it's high to low. It's so hard to gauge. Yeah. Like level to level, yeah. you can be like, okay, that's my max. And you're like quite quickly can be like, I'm either going to bounce it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. But once actually. the bounce goes out the window, unless you're like Marcio or Bendis with like good ankles. Yeah. Like unless you've got that level of control, you're like, I'm either gonna do this or I'm not at all. Mm -hmm. Like you, the bounce is not so much of an option, and that's when I find it gets really like heady, and you're like, oh, I don't know. Because like, mm -hmm. once you commit, you're over that drop, and it's like, yeah. you're going. Mm -hmm. So mental battle battles yeah. are awesome. Yeah, I think because in New Zealand, because we there's not that many high walls, so I wasn't really used to that. And then I went to Lisbon, I think last November, and I thought that I wasn't that bad at like bigger challenge not necessarily very big but i could do somewhat big jumps and i got to lisbon and lisbon is terrifying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, was like, I can't do anything and then i think because of that i started like working more on these kind of things was that the first place you went after new zealand like oh, aside from austria with like the aim of training or no i went to well i went to on the spot first and then i actually came ah, to okay. the uk but it just it was such bad weather oh uh, yeah and then then i went to lisbon yeah so it's kind of the first place yeah yeah lisbon can be like whoa yeah but yeah. that just made me realize how low my confidence actually is and i just need to do way more of that 
yeah it's, it's weird good. it's weird that because it's yeah like figuring out distance wise when you're higher up i feel like it for me anyway it really plays with my head yeah like yeah. It, something that's quite close can actually feel really far away yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and like having to make sure that like you're focusing on so many other things whereas when you're low down it's like oh i just focus on the jump yeah and then it's chill um but yeah i think a lot of people maybe miss out that element of things well it sounds bad saying like oh just take it higher but like <laughs> it is a good thing to like do for yourself and just realize where you are with heights and things yeah, yeah for sure yeah. it's like I don't think anyone's like you have to do shit on high roofs, no. but to even even like, but it just changed head height and a bit of higher than that yeah. is enough to, for your head to go. Okay, there's consequence. Yeah, and especially mm -hmm. if like you're looking for new things, it's like well, you can do something that you're comfortable with up high, and that's something you kind of already done. But now yeah. you'll think you're doing a new thing again, which is really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it was a lot about like small walls as well. So like New Zealand, like if if it was big jumps, it would be to like a block or something. Yeah, mm. it wouldn't necessarily be to a small wall, and that control was just so hard to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, I, just the the small because there's obviously you can get just the brick ones, which is like the normal length of walls. Yeah, but like in a lot of countries like Portugal or whatever, they're just a tiny just that bit little thinner. bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah, and it yeah, also yeah. makes just concrete off of them yeah. a lot weird it's like yeah. i don't know if i'm doing half a rail technique now yeah. instead and yeah for sure mm, lisbon i think is specifically one of those places that's quite like humbling because obviously yeah. the level the people who've been through there are so good and the level that exists there already is so good like it's you go there and you're just like okay like i've seen so much history happen here and this is how good people are yeah it's it's fucked like it's so sick it's incredible like all the stuff that's been done there is yeah. just mind blowing what's on your like where haven't you been that you want to try and hit up sort of in the future like your hit list um spain i want to go um barcelona madrid sick i think um i don't know i'm really bad at thinking about these things because it's whenever i try and go places it doesn't happen it's just it has to happen uh, but it works if I don't think about it and yeah, I just end yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. But I'm really bad at planning things and then actually going through with them. Are you more likely to, I don't know, like if, if you were here in England and a sort of a group that you happened to be hanging out with were like, oh, we're going to Barcelona next week, yeah. want to come. Yeah. Is that much more likely than you saying, guys, I'm going to leave England next Thursday and go to Barcelona on my own? Yeah, no, yeah. It's, yeah. I, I, mm. I get very easily stuck with people yeah. and then I just end up going wherever they go and it usually end up in good places so. sick travis is yeah. a good person for that yeah, yeah he's yeah, always yeah. like we should do this here like he yeah. doesn't even have to think about it too much yeah, yeah and then yeah. just follow him and then just yeah. just you just want to find those like i feel like every summer sort of every season almost or every year i guess and i think now it's a little bit different because obviously we're like coming out of covid so everyone's like fired up and wanting to travel mm. but it's always felt like there will just be select like do you think it would, uh god what year was it like because rachel a couple of years ago went on just like a mad one where she was just like she finished school or whatever and i don't know just to travel she didn't even spring. finish school she was just like i'm just gonna travel non-stop mm -hmm. and you, it's like if you can tag along with people like that where mm. you just go cool i'm um like we're, we're going definitely and yeah yeah i feel like your lifestyle that you're living now is more like what parkour before covid what parkour used to be I feel like it was yeah. a lot more normal and now it really isn't as normal. Yeah. But I think it'll get back though. Oh, I mean, no, it's, just, well, it's just been two years of weirdness. I just miss it. I just like seeing people do it because it's like, yes, okay, people are still going to like do that again. Yeah. And travel around and things. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really good. Especially when events come back on as well. Yeah. Hello? We've got drunk people coming back. Is that Sam and Travis? <laughs> coming in back from the pub <gasps> at, so at 8 45. <laughs> How long will we be going? 58 minutes 58 minutes good lord oh, no. this has been a lovely crazy. chat yeah i haven't um, gone through things yeah what, what else have we got i feel like we've just been having a nice organic one rather <laughs> than that's like, great that's what i wanted yeah um well I, we touched on squirm court and stuff oh i've yeah i wanted to talk about competitions because we started talking yeah. about that um but have you you've competed before i did out of motion out of motion yeah. yeah is this the one that had the weird things with the qualifying with qualifying was this our motion or not what do you mean i felt like someone was telling me about on sites and like no one getting through but they no still girls did getting through yeah 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 I don't that was last year on the boats right there was not, yeah, yeah 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 it was basically mm -hmm. because um there's 18 spots for the finals and it's 12 spots for men and six spots for women and they've already let six people through the online so they wouldn't let anyone through well six women yeah. through the online so they wouldn't let anyone through the on sites 
Yeah, Renee was telling me that. Very, very frustrating. Yeah, yeah, but they still ran with the onsides, or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually it was amazing that women still competed because we knew beforehand. Uh huh. Um, it was like it was kind of like it's not gonna we're go going to show up because we want these spots next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then basically, we we're going to have six spots again. Um, I, I, I don't know how the format is next year, but from my conversation with um with Nico it was like we we will have six spots again but maybe they'll just give us less online yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll get one or two on site so how much can they um can people like Nico change those things or is it like well, if Red he wanted Bull? he could change everything. yeah I mean they're, they're the head yeah. head mm -hmm. AOM guys so oh, like sick. um no yeah. if he wanted he could make it equal but yeah. he doesn't want to mm -hmm. is it equal prize money as well or not <laughs> no it's not no, no because it's overall winner and then women's podium yeah okay. so because no woman got on the overall podium it's obviously obviously not the same price money because mm. we it's didn't just, actually get on the overall podium it's just the women's podium yeah yeah, yeah, but yeah it's yeah. just a shame because people think of i mean i don't because i i feel like there's so many other parkour competitions now that are way better like grassroots and stuff but aom seems to be the one that's like art of motion that like yeah. one that everyone looks to mm. but they still haven't figured out their shit with that i feel like yeah because but it's not a competition it's like it's, it's a show it's, it's a show it's an yeah. event yeah, yeah exactly it's like i love it for oh there's i mean going and, and the experience and, and stuff. For sort of yeah for it but it, uh, in terms of a competition there are so many others that run it better and there's not really any offense to like nico or anyone like that because it's just the fact that it is a media operation for a huge company mm. and it's like i mean you go I've been to so many now and you watch the amount of time the athletes get to train and then it's like, oh, we need to pull you off to do camera bits and then, mm. oh, everyone needs to then line up so on the course bad. and rehearse the way they're going to walk on and wave to the camera mm -hmm. and things. Like, and it's good to have stuff like that. If you're, you're yeah. obviously putting money into a live stream and things, but I it's... I suppose it's for whoever wants that. Yeah. Because that's so much scarier than like, I don't know, Project Underground or NAPC. I thought it was the other way. Because like... Red Bull Automation, it's a show, so it doesn't, like, you're doing a show, it's not a competition, it doesn't mm -hmm. actually matter what you do because it's a show. Yeah. And I think the the only annoying thing about Out of Motion is that we, as, like, a community, we put it up as this, like, the biggest competition, yeah. while it isn't a competition. And I think that's the annoying bit about it. Yeah. If you just looked at it as a show, then it would be fine, but it's such a huge thing for so many people yes yeah, it's, it, it's the one where like first and second place always have the most kind of like online controversy of like he should have won he should have won da, 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 da. Mm. and it's like really sort of those two people if they were put back to back in like nova city or something and had all that time and would probably put together better runs that they'd be more happy with in a better environment and yeah, also maybe. it would be easier to sort of judge on a fair playing field than mm -hmm. the, the sort of the circumstances of our emotion but no it makes sense like yeah i mean so t speaking of kind of the like the sexism in parkour thing is always a tough thing to talk about not not tough thing to talk about we've we've had conversations where it's like we don't want to like bring sort of girls on the podcast and be like make the entire podcast about like you're a girl what's it like to be in parkour because if anything yeah, horrible, yeah. yeah it's like we're it, it it's an issue but we don't want to make it like the only thing about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, how have you found it? Like, I, I, I mean, I guess it is so, it's, it's so layered because there's personal issues that some people deal with, with the way that guys treat them. And then there's the sort of issues that competitions have and yeah, prize money and things like this. But what, I, yeah, I don't even know really what question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just a tough thing. But do you think it's getting better in the time that you've been in parkour? Like, yeah, there's a lot yeah, of conversation yeah. and awareness about it, and sometimes it feels like people take a good step forward mm. in terms of a competition or things, and then other times it seems like there's huge setbacks. And yeah, I think it's easier to well for me at least it's easier to deal with the like the sexism that's going on within the community. Like, yeah, that, that's. Uh, it sounds but there's not yeah it's, uh, it's easier to deal with that than with something like out of motion just being such a big thing yeah and then mm. that being just put in your face like you can deal with sexist comments quite easy because it's like not quite easy but mm -hmm. it sounds bad but you get used to it and you get used to handling it but if something like rip will out of motion is like doing this kind of stuff it's just you feel quite powerless because it's like yeah because what it's, are you meant to do because it's yeah. rip and you just have to go with it because you 
you have to compete in it because if you don't show up then women are not showing up so we don't deserve the sports yeah mm. but then if you do show up you have to deal with all the sexism that's going on there and all with with all the like i'm co- gonna call it like unfair treatment or whatever mm-hmm. um so that's much harder to deal with than yeah sexism within the community mm. and i've been quite lucky like i haven't had to deal with a lot of it um it's just um it's like training is is that's what i really like about the uk as well because you like everyone gives you shit for everything and it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a guy oh yeah and i love that often, as well that is, <laughs> yeah. no. we're all mean to each other <laughs> yeah so good. Yeah, no one's gonna is, hold back if you do yeah. something and it's like one well, i know you can actually do it better than that yeah that wasn't good yeah but yeah, it's again. like if i'm training with a group of guys and they give each other shit for stuff and then i do something and everyone's suddenly like really supportive yeah it's like it's weird oh so for you sure you just want to be treated like everyone else you know yeah you and don't want the like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. and it's I, I really understand that people are doing it to be nice I, mm. I really get that but it's just like just being treated like everyone else is just the best feeling really mm-hmm. um i don't be, know being treated like shit like everyone else basically like yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah be sarcastic be mean <laughs> critique the technique yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and i've <laughs> to be fair, like the people I've been hanging out with, they've all been incredible. Sick. And I think the more people are involved with the community, the less sexist they are. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. So it's just like, it's those random people that sometimes show up at jams or sometimes show up at training that are usually worse. Yeah. In What's the scene like with women in uh, New Zealand? Um, There's like two or three of us. Okay. Well, two of us that are like constantly training and then a couple more that are training every now and then, but... The New Zealand community has always been incredible. Yeah, same. Like they, yeah, I, I was so lucky that I basically started training with them because they've always just been so supportive. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I haven't experienced any sexism whatsoever over there. Same. So that's amazing, yeah. It's really interesting because I feel like a few years ago I would have said England like doesn't have that many women training in it, but I feel like we've compared because I I'd sort of, I don't know, been around Europe a lot and... I used to go to events in Europe and there'd be so many girls and then come to U- the UK and it'd be barely any. Mm. And now I feel like the UK is really sort of stepping up a bit more. Yeah. I think yeah. with Project which, Underground, there was so many that I didn't yeah, know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, beasts. It was um, really cool to see. That was amazing. I yeah. loved Project Underground. There was yeah. so many amazing women. It was so cool. The mm-hmm. skill comp is so sick. Yeah. Like, I love watching uh-huh. the skill yeah. comp. Yeah. It's so fucking cool because it's like, oh, I don't know. Skill, skill will always be, I think, my favourite. Like, because you can just uh-huh. sit on the sidelines and be so close to it. Yeah, you can put yourself in the head and be like, "Fuck, I want to try that challenge." Like, yeah, kind of thing. and then you sneak on the course afterwards and have a go. Like, Literally, what you did. <laughs> there was a challenge. There was yeah. There's that lache one going sideways. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you just come yeah. back and do it. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, but I think with like sexism and parkour, it's like a lot of it comes from outside as well. Mm. So it's people that are looking at you being a girl doing parkour, and then they just comment. It's just weird comments you get. But Travis on troll accounts because he got pissed yeah, off that yeah, you posted yeah. a square. <laughs> you being a, you're a sexist pig. Viral square with no hashtags. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying you you set up some fake you set up fake accounts on Instagram just oh, to yeah. give her sexist <laughs> comments. It's just make you feel better, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like within the parkour community, I haven't really ex- uh, well, I have experienced it, but not mm-hmm. a lot, and it's yeah. been so much better lately. Sick. That's sick. Um, yeah. It's good to hear that. Um, should we just have a quick look at some Instagram questions that came in? Yes. Because there were yeah. a couple that I quite liked the look of. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Shugura said, where has your funkiness come from? New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Do you think in New Zealand's more funky than like... What's a funky place for parkour? I mean, I guess you could say like sort of... Germany's got some. I was going to say that. Yeah. I always go back to Germany as being a funky place for parkour. A German funk. Yeah. Huh? Dead spots. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> Dead spots create good it? funk, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 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 I guess it funk. does. You have to get yeah. creative mm-hmm. or you don't. Like, and then you just do massive curb jumpy running breeze. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just give up. Yeah. Get bored. Um, J J J J Heed. J Y A Heed. Uh, what made you think? No, what do you think made you skyrocket in popularity? I've got no idea. Why do people suddenly care about you? Travis just put his hand up. What, you? Uh, you're sick, isn't 
Oh, I thought you were going to be like, oh, I shared. Thank you. I, I shared her on my story. That was it. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I think, honestly, part of the reason is because I came back to Europe. I think uh, for sure, just one just of the traveling. biggest factors yeah. people can do is just travel, be present, and post a lot. Unfortunately, yeah. post a lot. But, like, it shows their consistency. And the, you, there's so many athletes that over the years I've watched and the moment they've been... You've met them in a cool country. Like, I mean, DK, right? Mm. Yeah. He used to rock up at Art Motion. He, he used to try and compete before he was able to. And it was, like, sick kid from Greece, sick kid from Greece. Even, I think, after the first year that he started doing well in Art Motion, people were aware of him. But, like, I don't know, someone would, who half, uh, like kind of half watched Art Motion would be like, oh, don't know who that is. Yeah. But the second he got, oh, there was one year where he just spent the entire summer going to every single event he could and he was popping up everywhere. And mm -hmm. by the end of that year, it felt like everyone knew who DK was. Because mm. it's just like, I think you just, yeah, you make those connections. Yeah, yeah. So, so the like, combination of traveling and posting and stuff. Yeah. And, and it definitely does help, like, because you can get invited to events for free and shit. Yeah. And like, yeah, you yeah. just become way more connected, which is nice. Mm. Um, but also, yeah. You're also just sick. So yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you're you very talented. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just like be shit and do the same thing. And yeah. It's like, oh, now we know this is. Yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I said talented, and then we had that conversation the other day about it's not talent. It's talent doesn't. It's exist. so annoying when you use a term like that, and then you realise that actually, it, like, it's a fallback term. Yeah. Because it's in your vocabulary, but it's not the mm -hmm. word you should use. Yeah. Because no, yeah. Yeah. Everyone works for something. It's not. Yeah. Uh, with this parkour skills. <laughs> Eb Dabari said, talk about that final grin after each move. <laughs> the final grin. Oh, um, I guess you're just happy. Yeah. Like, you just... Yeah, I hate yeah. myself for it as well. <laughs> just smile a lot. I mean, he's that's worse. Sick. He looks sad after it. He'll yeah, do, like, the sickest really line. Annoying. <laughs> really, and that's, that's worse, And he, actually, he yeah. looks at the camera yeah, and he goes, he goes... And yeah. then he watches his back and he goes, oh, no, I am happy with that. That's a bad mindset though, because that means I'm not happy when it happens and then I watch it, I'm like, nah. Yeah. But yeah. I just really enjoy how movement feels and it makes me happy. It's like you said, you know sick. when it feels nice. Yeah. Sick. You're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just as basic as yeah. that. Yeah. And don't hide that either, because if anything, I reckon that will get more people into it. Because they'll yeah, go, it's a fuck, thing, yeah. she's really liking that. I'm, I want to do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, Tavis, um, somebody said, what's your favorite move? I don't know. Lashes. I love lashes. Lashes. There we go. Yeah. Bar stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I guess this is a, a sort of a, a broad one, but also like a... Well, so KTR Maxim said, what do you hope to uh, achieve movement-wise? But I think what we haven't really spoken about, and it sounds like you've got a fairly sort of loose, not in a negative sense, but like direction moving forward. But where where do you want to... Where do you want to go movement-wise? Like, what do you want to achieve but I think yeah. the question I'd like to ask is where where do you want to take your parkour career? Where do you want to be in, let's say, 10 years? Like, Can I answer them separately? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Movement-wise, it's just um, being like, fully aware of my capabilities. Yeah. Being able to, like, just try things and know that I'll be okay and know that, like, being able to attempt things knowing that I, I'll be able to save my... And, to do them safely. Yeah. And um, one thing that I find really impressive when people can do it is just use momentum well. So just being able to use the for use force well and like translate it into your movement mm. and moving effortlessly. I think that's big goals. Um, and just understanding movement as well. Yeah, sick. Um, I've got no idea where I want parkour to take me. I really don't know. I mean. It would obviously be incredible to be like a sponsored athlete or something and just being able to live off it. Yeah. But as I said before, it's like I really enjoy what I'm doing right now. So it's kind of hard to say that as well. Cause I, yeah, I need to just be done with uni and then I'll, I'll be able to like go, yeah. figure stuff out. Cause now I'm so comfortable. Cause I get this money every month, right? Yeah, so I can just yeah, be yeah. like, yeah, I'm fine. But I think once that comfort is gone, I need to actually figure everything out. Mm -hmm. Oh, nah, I want to, just get invited to champs and that's it yeah that's, yeah that's basically my biggest goal in parkour i think just get invited <laughs> to champs yeah have you um have you had much like commercial work through parkour or anything um not that much i've done like one big job and yeah. then a couple of small ones sick but not huge i think it all you got hooked up with pima yeah kind of yeah 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 Which but, is that's like, nice. like, mm -hmm. yeah 
yeah that's pretty cool but it's not like specific work it's just just helping you out a bit yeah yeah, yeah. was that them Which reaching out and being like nah i reached out to them oh really yeah because i knew that they were sponsoring hip-hop dancers so i was like oh, might as well try oh, sick mm-hmm. and it was really cool they got back to me within like an hour and wow what just on video call. dm or what i like, nah, emailed them oh sick yeah 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 and it never hurts to ask calls. does it like Nah, and Not, yeah, yeah, and they said as well that they would have never considered working with parkour athletes, and they like saw my stuff and they really liked it. And were like, yeah. Did you send them your square? I sent them my square, and they were like, they were like four <laughs> <Yes>. million. <laughs> we want, them. yeah. <laughs> they're like oh, organic, four million, no ta- hashtags. And they're like looking at Travis's page, and they're like, mm, now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with we'll go with a square. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Travis is there with a. Uh, what did you have? I can't remember. Rubicon. Yeah. It's not quite Puma, is it? <laughs> I was speaking to Puma for like three months, you know. Oh. And then and then they went with Lisa. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Puma. Yeah, yeah. It's not UK Puma. Ah, okay. Different story. Yeah. Travis didn't even like Rubicon, did you? I didn't. You know, he never drank them. <laughs> <laughs> he honestly didn't. He just has to shoot with it and go. Do you want this? <laughs> Fuck's sake. But it sounds like, yeah, you want like whatever's going to just help you do this now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm sure will happen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Somehow, yeah. Mm. I think I think it feels like you're heading in a very good direction. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. And if you don't, you can you just, just go scuba driving. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Having yeah. that option is amazing. Mm-hmm. Just go live under the sea. You're like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly the best thing. <laughs> it's so good. Can you listen to music? No. You just listen to oh. bubbles. You probably can, but I wouldn't like it. You get hit by boat. There's so many cool sounds underwater because like coral reefs make oh. a sound, right? Now coral reefs. I didn't even like think about that. And stuff. Do you yeah. not have stuff like over? Is your ears just? Yeah, you're just chilling. Ow. Just keep smashing. <laughs> yeah, smashed smash his elbows on the sense yeah. today. So your ears just th- there's nothing like on them. Uh, it depends if it's cold. You sometimes have a hood, like a yeah. A like, well, but it's hood. not like why did I think but, you'd have like. Something like an old diving mask, like a diving helmet. You're in a helicopter and you have the thing, (laughs) (laughs) but you're underwater. I mean, I've never done it, but then you get, I guess, you get to hear all the sounds and stuff. And then the reef, did you say, makes like, yeah, fish make cool noises as well. Wow, (laughs) I'm gonna do this now. That sounds very cool. Yeah, yeah, Mm no, it's really cool. And then if there's no sounds as well, it's just quiet and you that's very rare. Like when I, I, I like going, you know, when you're in a swimming pool. You go yeah. to the bottom, yeah, and then you just stay yeah, there, it's and that. it's just like no one's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly <laughs> that. But, just but then you have to go back up because yeah, you can't breathe. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. do also in a scuba dive, like your tank will run out. True, you can't just. But you've got like a good hour, yeah, or yeah. longer. Oh, yeah. An hour doing that, that's great. Fingers yeah, yeah, yeah. turned yeah. to yeah. Yeah. Especially if you don't move, you probably have two or longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Imagine just blasting through a whole tank, just literally staying in the same, just the tide, just, just carrying you like that. Uh huh. I like the sound uh-huh. of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sick. Is there anything we didn't cover? Probably. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was went, I was seeing how many you're gonna get through of that. No, I mean there were a few more, but they're kind of all like you know mm-hmm. the standard like when did you start parkour? Yeah. Not that that's a bad question, but it's a uh, mm-hmm. we we we're covering those. You give us the good ones, the <laughs> weird ones. Well, I had team teams and sponsors down as one thing because I was interested, but yeah. So you, do you think you'll reach out to more? people i think it's nice to just shoot those shots probably yeah mm. especially because this one kind of worked with getting some free shit which is yeah, good. yeah 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 i'll have to actually put effort in as well it's always a it's not actually that much effort but it's yeah. like finding the people that you want to work with because with puma i really like what they're doing like they yeah the whole company is really cool mm-hmm. so they're, they're doing like a lot for women empowerment and stuff and they're supporting black lives so, matter and so it's all like they've got a big thing in sustainability so it's someone I really wanted to yeah. work with yeah so yeah like I, I try and put some effort into figuring out who I want to actually reach out to how did sure. you find the contact to On email their website oh really wow yeah yeah, yeah. just yeah. their email what now there's mean? they've on their website they've Help got all Puma. the different com. branches oh sick they've, oh, all, nice. they've got yeah, UK, Australia, New Zealand, US, it's all there. They're going to, oh, so many people are going to just email oh them God. now. <laughs> Here's my showroom. Oh, so- <laughs> Sponsor me. I didn't realise they were such a good brand in that way. Just because I see them up with like Adidas and Nike and mm. things. Just you forget mm. to like actually dive deep and see what they're about. And yeah. I guess said they're sponsoring like hip hop dancers too and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Why well, the, like the suede's are a classic like break dance shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really big in that yeah. scene. So I wonder if they are. 
Yeah, that's cool. You might kickstart something and they might come onto parkour now. That'd be amazing. Would yeah. be good. That'd be so good. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Support some athletes so they don't yeah. have to do anything else but train. Is it is it Puma or is it Puma? I say Puma, but... Um, you I, ask another I think, person. I say Puma because it's... Uh, but I think I met, like... Yeah. Cause you know how Nike is Nike? Is it actually Nike? It's Nike. Oh, shit, I just say Nike. Yeah, which, yeah. it's... Oops. It's one of those... <laughs> it's like Adidas or Adidas. It's wrong person. Just yeah, no, no, all those things in German. Just voicing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's watching, like, fuck, no. Yeah. Adidas or Adidas. But yeah. Adidas. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Sick. <laughs> Sick. Have you got anything that... No. N- no. Have you got anything that you'd like to share with... <laughs> I'd say the world, but it's not really she the world, is it? Well, it could be the world. Uh huh. We, you know, this one. She had four million on Instagram Square. We <laughs> yeah. could, we could get. So that's what's going to happen. Sixty-nine billion or whatever the world is on a. Imagine. On a yeah. La- on a long thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That'd be hilarious. Go on. I don't, I don't think one that sentence. Happened. It only happened once. One sentence for the world. No, I can't do that. <laughs> way too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> too much <pressure>. <laughs> <laughs> we've got 10 yeah. questions to do anyway so yeah just, Let, just use the pressure with that and you haven't had dinner Amazing. and it's it's fucking 10 past nine love that oh my god you're i f- had a coffee though so i'm kind of okay. you're fine you're fine yeah. and you want to go to the pub you're gonna run yeah. out, we're gonna run out of time we gotta i do want to play some pool somebody mm. said something mm. travis really? isn't going to pub you've already been pub but i want to play pool there's an iphone app we'll make it happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> We'll make it happen. It's fine. All right. It'll all be okay. Let's wrap this up. Thank yeah. you very much. I've enjoyed this. I like yeah, the fact yeah. that we did an hour of just like... I know. I'm glad that that happened because I I know that sometimes it just isn't as organic as a normal conversation. Yeah. Especially when beforehand I've written notes. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want that to dictate like everything all the time. Basically, what we're saying is this felt good. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, thank you. That was good fun. I amazing. It, yeah. And if, I mean, I'm sure if people are watching this, they already know where to find you, but your Instagram is just, maybe you just type in Lisa Schneider. And it yeah, comes up. I think it's 98 at the end as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then do you have YouTube? I do have YouTube, yeah. Nice. I actually don't know what it is. Um. <laughs> probably type in the same thing, maybe. Yeah, probably. Well, you've got, an, you got a YouTube link in your bio, so I'm go. assuming that's your I channel. Hor- oh, I think I tried to change the name at some that's point. That's your channel, yeah, maybe. it must be. Yeah, oh, it's, it's playing. Motivation um, to do YouTube videos too then. That is another thing, yeah. actually, people yeah. can do. Yeah. But yeah. Nice. nice. Amazing. All right. Cheers, people. Bye. <laughs> it's always funny putting a cap on this, isn't it? Yeah. Putting a cap on either end. <laughs>